Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So today we're gonna to be taking a peek at a brand new T680. It is the old style. It is our last one that we will sell out of this store here as far as new goes. Uh, and I'm really excited to show this one to you. So let's check it out. So here she is. This truck is pretty legendary if you ask me. And you know what? Perfect timing, the sun just poked out. Get to show off the paint color. It's legendary red, legendary champagne as the trim. And then I have pearl white as the white in there. Three color factory paint. And we did the legendary paint in the Seminole paint design here. And uh, Kenworth is changing the name of this paint design to Palaus. Uh, so this is uh, what we got here. So this was ordered for stock and it is sold among every other truck that is <laughs> on our yard these days, uh, which is good. But anyways, uh, this truck here, it's a 2022. It is the old style cab. Uh, it has the old style dash in there as well. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in a moment. <laughs> and we got a uh, chrome bumper on the front here. We have the mirrors with the chrome in them as well on the hood, and then the chrome mirrors on the cab. So I wanted to accent this truck really nice when I put this together. So I put as much chrome from the factory as we could with the bumper, the mirrors, and then the factory visor. and. I was really excited to put the side of cab exhaust on this truck here too. Uh, so we can do that on the next gen 680 as well, which we do have plans to bring some in like that and dress them up. And uh, we did the full polish package down the side here. So the DPF box right here and the fuel tanks are all factory polished. So. Uh, makes it shine really nice now again uh with the fuel tank straps i kind of had a little bit of a dilemma with the layout on this one here but uh it looks it looks great but uh i would have liked to see these straps maybe positioned right about here but then it would have pushed the fuel tank back a little bit more which i was okay with uh so if we straddle this strap on the other side of that bracket there and then have your first strap about here pushes the tank back a little bit and then you'd maybe have about a six inch gap up front there uh, with the fuel tank here which is 150 gallons so uh, the other option is you could go to a, a shorter tank like a 135 and uh, have your fuel filler on the under the bottom uh, it's just it's hard to position everything sometimes but I like to keep the fuel fillers at the back so it's easier to access when you are at the fuel station and not having to kind of dig around under here. So this is a 244 inch wheelbase. It has the Alcoa Durabrite rims all the way around. Factory three color paint, like I said, we did the 76 inch mid roof 
uh, with the windows in the bunk doors along with the beacons up on the roof on the back. Uh, we have the large 31 gallon fuel uh, def tank right here. And then we have the larger, uh, the, the other fuel tank on this side here. This one's a bit smaller. And again, a uh, little bit of a dilemma in communication with the factory on this one here, but uh, you see how this is straddling on the outside here. We should have done that. And then uh, maybe position that strap back a little bit more just so it's spaced evenly and then have the tanks lined up. But that's okay. It's, uh, it's always a process and, and every truck is different. So uh, we ordered this truck here with the factory uh, engine heater, oil pan heater, and it has a factory inverter with shore power. So that's in there as well. And then we have the access steps right here. It is the AG400L suspension. And we got the 11R22.5 rubber all the way around Michelin's. Uh, as far as the rear ends, we have the Dana Spicer uh, DSH40s on the back here, full lockups. And uh, we have the drum brakes as well. 24 inch air slide fifth wheel made by Holland. And uh, as you can see here, we have the uh, S-bar control from the factory for the S-bar exhaust there. Uh, something else that we can do is put LED lights on the back wall. Uh, it is not a published option. You have to pick the unpublished code for that. And there's also an unpublished code to get the marker light on the side extender in LED as well. So a few little pointers there. Uh, I'll just open up the hood. And those things with the lights, that applies to all 2.1 meter cabs new generation or old generation. <coughs> so underneath the hood here, we order it with a 510 Packard. This is more of a uh, heavier spec uh, type of configuration that we put with it. And uh, we have the Packard fuel water separator, which is the only fuel water separator that we can pair with the Packard engine now in the program to build them. As far as the front end, we have disc brakes up on the front. And then like I say, drum on the back. And this is a 13-2 front axle. To show you around the other side here quick. We have uh, your turbo right here, your fuel, uh, sorry, your oil uh, filters and your coolant filter. There's the HVAC system up there. So it's a little bit about under the hood. Love to show you the inside of this truck and uh, finish off this quick tour on a Friday afternoon. Well, it's Friday for me. I don't know, maybe it's Sunday at like 11 p.m. for you watching this right now. I, I don't know. Why don't you comment and tell me what time of day it is right now that you're watching this? I'm, I'm curious to know. All right, let's go inside. All right, so we are inside the truck now. Uh, I'll just kind of show you a quick walk through what we got in here. Uh, we have the Diamond VIT. So this again is a discontinued configuration. Uh, when you order the Diamond now, this comes in that Madrona color. And then this is always uh, kind of that dark, uh, almost black color here, as opposed to the light gray. So that's what uh, what is done now, we don't have this one anymore, but uh, very nicely trimmed out. As far as up here, this is the uh, controls for your beacons, your lights on the back of the bunk and the side of the sleeper. And then there's your interior lights. I'll just turn those on right now so that we have a little bit of light on the inside here. Um, as far as the steering wheel, I ordered it with the leather uh, wrap steering wheel and then the cruise controls uh, right in there. And then the Jake brake is right here now and then this is a amt uh, transmission so it's an automated manual transmission uh, i had one person comment on the video that they don't like that that's what it's called but this is an amt an automated manual transmission uh, it's not a full automatic with a torque converter it's uh it still has the uh, electronic shifter and actuator to uh, engage and disengage the clutch that's in here so uh something to to know, the more you know. <laughs> um, anyways, over here is your uh, trailer brakes. Uh, you got your standard switches right here as far as your engine fan, air traction control. We put a switch for auxiliary lights for underneath the cab. 
So if we wanted to do like an underglow, we have the wiring right there. Uh, that is your hill assist to shut that off. A couple more spares, your DPF regen switch, air suspension dump, your full locking differentials. There's your PTO switch and then the fifth wheel slider right there. Order it with the full gauge package, which is the same uh, configuration that we can do currently with the current uh, setup. Now, what is different though is, uh, there's dirt on the camera. Uh, this here obviously is now different where we have that 15 inch display as opposed to these uh, gauges that are all in there. Now up above, uh, we have the CB radio and then there's more diamond plate or um, wood grain up top. And then whether you order the diamond interior or the Vantage, this is always the slate uh, cloth headliner. So that is not really customizable uh, at all. So uh, as far as the seats go, these are the top of the line seats. We've got the heated and cooled seats. Uh, and then same thing with the passenger side. And then on the bottom there, that is the swivel seat. So uh, I'll show that to you guys here in a second how that works. All right, so in the bunk here, uh, we have carpet all throughout the cab. And then uh, we have your fridge down here with a drawer down below. And then inside this closet is a nice door. This is optional. This shelf right here in the middle is optional as well. But uh, what we have up above here, you have lots of storage. And then same thing down below, lots of storage in there now this side here there's the tv mount and then the rotating table it's out of the way here while this is out of the way it's easy to open up underneath you just have this uh guy right there you pull that and then everything pops out so you can see the hvac system for uh, for the sleeper right there there's the factory installed s-bar heater uh, over there is the inverter and then right down there is a subwoofer, which is uh, an option as well that we can get. While we can see here, uh, something I put in pretty much every build of truck is this uh, additional foam. So it's called the EVA foam mattress. Uh, there is no insulation between the bottom of the mattress and your jockey box storage area. So I always like to add in that extra foam just to give a little bit more insulation and uh, cab comfort as far as the back wall goes we have the storage shelf on the back here which has nice cabinets so big wide cabinets uh, you can throw whatever you need to in there same thing on this side and then you have a deep uh, basket right here so you can organize whatever you want in there uh, like I said, we have the windows with the bunk doors on both sides. That one's just covered right now. And then uh, underneath this table is the drawers, like so. Up above here is where we have your microwave connection, factory inverter plug right there, along with the 12 volt. And then there is a, a small opening here where you can I don't know, maybe about seven inches, you can throw in uh, whatever you need to keep up there. Some people put a printer or whatever you so need. Uh, other than that, that's a quick tour of the inside of this beauty. All right, so before we finish off this video, I promised you guys a demonstration on this seat and how this seat works. So I'll show you guys how you do that. So it's quite simple. Uh, all that you have to do is make sure that you have air in the seat just by hitting that button uh, so that it goes back up. Okay, I'll maybe put a little bit more air in the seat. Then you want to slide the seat all the way forward and then back just a hair. And then once you have it like that, you hit the switch and then it should swing around in one easy motion like so. So that gives you a really nice uh, setup so that you can sit at the table and do whatever you want to do at the table. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Uh, thanks for watching, I sure appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I sure would appreciate it if you did that. Uh, you can just click the link in the bottom of the screen here. If you want to go to my website as well and get a hold of me, 
you can uh, click up here to the kenworthguy.com. It'll take you to my webpage. And on there, you have all the ways to get a hold of me through uh, whatever text message, WhatsApp, social media, whatever you'd like to do. So uh, thanks for watching. I sure appreciate you being here. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.